Like Violet intro music. Yeah, we need intro music. Oh my god. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Alright, here we go. Hey everybody, looks like we're live. Welcome. Hello. So welcome to our digital gamer girl little talk here uh powered by gaming technology this is our continuing the virtual creative festival and uh, this this segment is live um, with all the talk around virtual humans and virtual avatars i thought it'd be fun to actually hear from one so we have uh our close friend here violet who we've invited uh to have a chat and um we'll, we have chat actually going on as you guys can see and so we'll be taking questions for chat as i'm asking her but uh, yeah, I want to uh, introduce our really good friend, Violet. Hi, Violet. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Thank you so much. Uh, and the mill to inviting me. Thank you so much for the invitation to this spectacular festival. I am freaking out. I see all my friends in chat. I see you, Lorelai, Peppa, IRL, Graham Quest. Hi, super kisses to all of you. Thank you so much for hanging out. I know you bring your own little squad. I love it. <laughs> This is great. Oh so how long God. have we known each other, Violet? Yeah, so we've known each other for a couple of months and we connected online and really once we started talking, we discovered our mutual interest in real time personas and really kicked it off from there. So like, I'm really excited to be here to talk about, you know, our passions. I'm just happy to get you to come on here. I know um, you've been doing some really cool stuff. So. Um, I know you've been doing this for about a year now, right? You're about to have your birthday, I understand. Yes. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank what, you. When, what day is it? When's your actual birthday? So actually, my one year stream anniversary is happening this Sunday. So everyone here in chat over from Twitch knows that we are celebrating. We're actually having a six hour stream in honor of just all the good times that we've had online. And uh, I can't wait to see everyone there. <laughs> Wow, six hour stream. Well, that sounds <laughs> brutal. <laughs> six hours? Yeah, it's whatever. We got it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is sort of your format, right? The video with the chat. We've got chat going and a lot of friends in there. So, um, yeah, chat, if you guys have questions you want to ask Violet, throw them up in there and we'll just sample them as we're going. Um, I have prepared some questions for you, Violet, things I think I'm interested in and, and uh, things I'm sure our viewers want to know. Um, so tell us a little bit about what you are and what you do. Like, what are we looking at here? Explain yeah. what, what this is. For sure. Let's get into the basics. Oh, someone just hit me up on Twitch. Thank you for the follow, whoever that was. <laughs> <laughs> I have OBS running in the in the background. So focus, thank you. Violet. Focus. I'm trying. I'm trying to be grateful to everyone who comes through today but um let's get to the basics so hi maybe for those who are not familiar with who i am i'm violet i am a fully interactive virtual gamer streamer and yes i am celebrating my one year stream anniversary this sunday so i've had a full year of virtual experiences just having fun so i'm, I'm incredibly grateful to not only see my friends in chat but also new people so hello <laughs> I'm also based in New York City, so chat, tell me where you're from so that uh, we can uh, talk about some good New York City places, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, like, I see all the terms online with virtual humans, right? The, like, VTubers is a big thing, um, you know, uh, virtual avatars, virtual humans, Epic's now got meta-humans. Um, what are you, what do you identify as? How do you describe what you do or what you are? Yeah, for sure. So it's interesting that you bring that up because I've kind of thought about what I identify as. So I feel like a V human is a good term that like an umbrella term that encompasses what I am, which is a virtual being, a virtual persona. Some people use metahuman. That's going to be the new term coming out. We're really excited to see that in action and the new character creator. Um, and yeah, I feel like I'm definitely comfortable with the term VTuber as well, which we see a lot um, on right. Twitch. Yeah, there's a huge VTubing community. So I am definitely not uh, one of a kind. We have a whole community of really wonderful virtual people out there doing completely different things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's some <laughs> famous ones I'm, I'm sure that we know of that we've seen. Um, so uh, how, how is this working? Like, how does this work? Um, how, yeah. how are we able to talk right now yeah yeah um magic no that, yeah. that's the simple answer but it, let's be honest it takes a lot to put this show on so i would say it all starts with 
well, ends with Unreal Engine. Um, all of my data is being pipelined into Unreal Engine, which is how I am functioning in real time. But outside of that, I use an inertial mocap suit, and I use an infrared camera headset situation, and I also use gloves, and all of this is feeding into Unreal with this Unreal magic. <laughs> And like the, so the inertial tracking suit, that's like the ones that doesn't use the cameras and stuff, right? So you're able to exactly. do this, I guess, from home, right? So like the pandemic and you having to work from home, how, I guess, so you're doing this, what, out of your bedroom or whatnot? Yep, yep. I'm doing this straight out of uh, my, my apartment. Um, and it's been unreal, not to make the joke, you know, but I mean, it's, it's been pretty incredible. I've, I've flirted a lot with different setups and I feel like I'm finally at a place where I'm super happy with how everything looks, how everything's functioning and it's only going to get better, which I want to address here in chat. This is my new look, which is pretty exciting. So I am debuting my new hairstyle, new clothing today. Usually I'm rocking a different haircut, different style. So I feel like this is, um, one step, you know, towards the future for, you know, my virtual persona and online, you know, Twitch journey. I love it. Um, yeah. Chat's accusing you of hiding the secret sauce of what you do. Is there anything you can more specific you want to tell us about how you're tracking and stuff? <laughs> That's so funny. I was going to say, oh my God. First of all, I love every single one of you. You guys are really funny. I love it. We, we don't <laughs> listen. You know, I love to talk about, especially when it's scuffed, which th there are moments and I love to be transparent about the hardships of being virtual, which means nothing runs smoothly, which is funny because like people assume that, you know, you're virtual, you plug it in and you go and, and you're ready. Um, that's not the case. So yeah, I would say it's, it's a pretty involved process. I would love to kind of go over maybe my ritual for stream, like how I would get ready if you're interested. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Anything you can tell us about your setup, I'm sure would be super helpful. Yeah. For super sure. interesting. <laughs> hi, Jules. Hi, everybody. Hi, Rowena. I'm going to say hi to everybody in chat. Yo, what's up, Baron? Hello, Emily. Hello, everyone. Hello. Okay. So a little bit about my ritual, I would say, which takes some time, anywhere from half an hour to an hour. And it all depends on what game I will be playing. So whatever playlist I choose, whether let's say if I'm playing Fortnite, that's gonna be a hyped up playlist. If I'm playing Minecraft, it's gonna be chill. Um, but I usually like to get that playlist going and then that's where I will start commencing all the various programs um, on one machine and then on a separate machine, I have my little stream deck connected to OBS make sure I get all my stream settings uh, coordinated through there. So it's quite a process. On a good day, it takes half an hour. On a really, really bad day, it takes a couple days. <laughs> but <laughs> okay. we're looking really good today, which I'm, I'm really excited about. Yeah, you look great. I like the new look. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, so, Jeff. okay, so you're, you're going you're gonna to be vague about the tracking stuff. I get it. <laughs> um, well, what? so you talked about setting all this stuff up. Like, has you know, the pandemic and being work from home, how is that sort of affected how you do this? Like, how would you do this if, if we weren't in a pandemic or what sort of what has come out of it because you're in a pandemic? Yeah, no, that's a good question too. I would say for me, if it wasn't for the pandemic, which I know we are in a really tricky situation, it's not a, a great thing to be in the middle of. But that being said, I like to find the silver lining of situations. And this pandemic for me was an opportunity for me to really focus on a passion project of mine, which is really violet in its final form. So if, if it wasn't for the pandemic, um, I, I used to be a freelance PA uh, roaming around the land of Manhattan. <laughs> But that's what I was doing. And then outside of that, I would go home and, and just focus in Unreal Engine. Um, but I would say because of this pandemic, I've been able to connect to other people. This past year has looked so, like I, I've gone through so much tremendous growth, not only individually, but like our community, the Blob Squad, all of you out there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a sucker for community. I'm a sucker for community. And because of everyone here today, like I have been able to get real feedback, you know, from my friends online, what they want to see in the world, what they want to see more of, how it can be improved. So yeah, pandemic has set the stage for a lot of new beginnings and I'm just excited to like go forth and try new things and really explore the relationship between an anonymous person and a virtual one online. It's been a ride. 
<laughs> it's crazy. It's so interesting. <laughs> Um, Hash is, is wondering, do you think your avatar conveys your emotions well? Hi, Hash. How you doing? Thank you for the question. Um, I'm just going to read that again. Do you think your avatar conveys your emotions well? I would say eerily so. <laughs> <laughs> it, I'm not much of an actress, to be honest. I very much um, express a lot through my face, and it's pretty easy to see what I'm thinking, uh, depending on the faces I'm making. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of fun to be able to flirt around and, and make new expressions. Sometimes, you know, a year in, I discover new ones that I didn't even know existed. So... To answer your question, 100%, yes. That's awesome. I mean, that's like, how did you come up with this idea, like, to, to become Violet? Like, because yeah. you're, not, you're not AI, obviously. You're not, there's a lot of solutions we've seen that are, that are using sort of computers or, or portray themselves as being AI, but you're not, right? So, no. how, how, uh, how did you come up with this? Yeah, for sure. So, good point. Um, I'm not. A robot I'm not an AI um, there's tons of you know lovely robot influencers online but I am not one of them and it all started with my love for gaming and everyone on my channel knows that I am a huge nerd when it comes to just gaming I popped out the womb and had a controller in my hand and um, specifically Nintendo games so any of you here in chat like Nintendo let me know because I love them and they definitely formed me into the person that I am today but that being said I took a lot of inspiration from the gaming world specifically characters so I, I used to bond with them I used to connect with how stories were being told right through these virtual people and as a kid and I think a lot of people can agree here that stays with you and I feel like it opens up so much creativity and just food for thought that gets your gears going and like it's like walking into a movie theater and walking out after a movie and being like I'm a superhero like you genuinely feel inspired by that content like I don't know if anybody here relates but like that's what gaming was to me so I would say that was the entry level turned into um, a, a, a place of admiration to you know 3d enthusiast to jumping into unreal and taking a couple years to perfect that yeah. And and so like the your your decisions on like how you look and where you where you sit and the chair you sit in all these things like what was the inspiration for that cuz I've seen you know there's a lot of talk especially with metahumans about the more realistic and we've seen the little Michaelas and the digitals and those that are all doing really cool work with like realistic looking characters um what what was your choice like I, like yeah. describe your sort of thought process and, and how you go about that. For sure. So I wanted to stay away from the uncanny valley. I did not want anything to do with that. Um, and being a virtual person, especially like in cinema to real time characters, we've seen a lot of that. We've seen uncanny valley. So my stylistic decisions really um, revolved around that. Me wanting to avoid being hyper realistic and also crossing some weird, you know, lines with Uncanny Valley, but also not incredibly stylized, you know, like like uh, Pixar or Disney to the point where I'm having like massive, you know, um, you know, just massive stylized features on my face. So I wanted to be and live in a middle ground. When 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 Epic comes out with the metahumans and stuff, are you gonna is, is Violet gonna have a conversion to reality? Are you gonna metahumanize yourself? <laughs> Yeah, so I am very interested in metahumans. I poked around in the project a little bit, but I think that I, I really do want to move into a more recent engine version. So metahumans is the perfect opportunity to really see what I can do, what what I can create. That's great. Well, let's yeah. see what the chat's saying. So um, Jeffrey Wang's wondering what your preferred pronouns are as a virtual avatar. Amazing. Hi, Jeffrey Wang. Thank you so much for asking. My preferred pronouns are she, hers. And everybody in chat, if you wouldn't mind, if you're comfortable, let me know what your preferred pronouns are as well. Um, super. <laughs> Rowena popped out the wound with controller in hand. <laughs> if you see me looking down, I'm reading your comments, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Do you think an avatar like yours helps with stage fright? Um, uh, or the camera shy? Ooh, hash, that's a really good question. Okay, so I, um, it, it's interesting because a year ago, I went live uh, during the Twitch stream aid with Unknown Army, um, who is part of NRG Esports. And 
I felt like a different person at that time. I went live and I, I was, you know, quite shy. I didn't know what I was doing. It was the first time that I truly went live and, and put this to the test, which was terrifying. <laughs> so looking back a year ago and looking to where I am now, I am 100% way more comfortable, you know, in my virtual skin, you know, as, as a technician, developer, um, as a virtual persona. I feel like I have spent the last year really owning up and you know getting comfortable in that skin so that's an amazing question i think it totally helps yeah maybe i need one because this is <laughs> i am not comfortable in front of the camera so maybe I need to get my... you're doing a great job you're doing a great job okay <laughs> well so like you know you're virtual and you identify as virtual online how is that like your interaction experiences with people online as a virtual person but also like how has that affected your like you know offline person I don't know how, how you describe it like how how is it different being virtual online than say if I get online and do stuff like have you you know you since you can speak from both I imagine <laughs> yeah so I kind of live like an undercover agent you could say like it's so weird having this duality I like to call it Hannah Montana like a, a Hannah Montana-esque situation um, but that being said, socially, I mean, the world, we are in a pandemic. So having this outlet, having this place to connect with others and, and spark conversations about the futures, you know, of, of uh, virtual personas. And that's an amazing outlet. But as soon as I click, you know, end stream goodbye, I kind of just like have a moment of figuring out like, wow, I am a physical person. Like sometimes I forget. And that's a true thing that I experience um, outside of stream and, and, you know, in my virtual form is that there's kind of a lot of conceptual things that go through my brain, um, which is a great kind of catalyst for development and moving forward and, and really putting forth new concepts. <laughs> yeah. It's quite the situation. Oh, and, and thank you. Love your energy. Thank you. When you here. meet when you meet people for the first time online, like your, your, uh, your followers and on, how, how is that response? Yeah. So I would say it's a mixed bag. So some people jump on Twitch and, um, there's quite the age range on Twitch, um, anywhere from 13 to, you know, above. Um, sometimes people jump in and they don't say a thing. They do not notice or they are not, inclined to say anything about it, which I think is really fascinating in its own way. Um, some people jump on and they start typing. They're like, wait a minute, you're not a real person. And I'm like, what do you mean? I am a real person. And, you know, we like to troll. We like to jerk because obviously I know what they mean. They're implying that I'm a virtual person, but I always like to kind of prank <laughs> my viewers just because that's that's the form of like that's the virtual medium is that it, it's fun it, it's why why not speak to it and have fun with it but i would say there's definitely a mixed mixed reality of, of people who are it, totally freaking out about it or they're like super into it yeah yeah i'm sort of right in the both of those i'm into it and freaking <laughs> out like talking to you about it it's wild <laughs> it is weird to see two of us together like this but so, so we do a lot of um, real-time character work at the mill, we do a lot of with mascot, a lot of puppets, a lot of stuff. We're doing more of the virtual human stuff. So it's super interesting. Um, do you have virtual friends? Yes. Who, who, do, who, do, you, who do you like? Who are you, who's your virtual crew? Yeah. Who, who are doing things that, that, are, you know, that, that you like and can point, point me to? Yes, absolutely. So the cool thing about being on Twitch is discovery. Not only can you kind of learn more about who you are and your preferences online, like, but you can meet other people and collaborate, which is the beauty. That's the ultimate goal, really, in terms of being a content creator. So I've met virtual people and, you know, anywhere from people on VR chat who use Vroid models to people who are also using Unreal Engine, which is fascinating. So on that level, I would bring up Code Miko who is awesome she is phenomenal if you do not know about her please go uh check her out she has been doing amazing things interviewing other you know irl guests and things like that but i actually did have the honor of uh scheduling an interview with her similar to this on twitch so that was super fun being able to connect on that level because as a female developer you really want to see other people you know in the space getting the credit they deserve and she's nailing it so definitely spreading the love out to Nico. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. Well, let's see what Chad has to say. Oh, look, I'm a good ventriloquist. 
This is all this is all me puppeting off camera. <laughs> Imagine he would have like the world's best voice modulator. Oh, that's another <laughs> thing. A lot of people think that I'm like a 40 year old man. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, some people think I am, you know, a 40-year-old man living in their parents' basement, um, but I actually am 24, uh, living in Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, that's... No. Oh, wait, so little Peppa. Hi, Pep, what's up? Why did you... Wait, why did you want to start streaming? Good question. So I feel like that's 100% connected to my answer with like my roots in gaming and being so inspired by virtual environments and characters. Um, but also just wanting to like dive into something I was really passionate about, you know? I, I really wanted to step into my own and try something new and the pandemic offered me uh, a situation where I, I couldn't walk, you know, I couldn't go into work anymore um, alongside a lot of other people. So I am living in this situation, you know, alongside you guys. So I decided to take a chance and figure it out. And that's the beauty of it is that I'm still understanding what's happening you know and and something that's really cool is that every day it changes especially in the technical space it's like one day is just so much happens in a day so like keeping up with that on its own is super interesting and actually is a challenge you know uh balancing out my r d time to content creation to live streaming so that's a good question peppa <laughs> yeah and, and you know a lot of a lot of our viewers are going to be our clients and agencies. And, and I'm wondering, like, from your point of view, has you've been approached by brands? And how do you see, like, you know, how do you make money or what's your sort of business plan as Viola? Like, what is, how can brands use you or, you know, just trying to, like, think of that kind of, how do you, how do you, how do you make a living doing this? For sure. So that's a really good question. A lot of people like to ask me, of that as far as like how to make a living and I think every content creator has their own you know formula or solution to how they're making their money whether that's through like patreon or um, that's through you know subs and bits through twitch um, but for me I'm still figuring this out um, I still want to take you know more steps towards making this a full content you know like a full job for me this is what i'm passionate about this is what i love and i'm so grateful to have the support you know for people who have you know subscribed to my channel and want to see more um of you know my virtual life our virtual life together um but that being said as far as like brands i had the honor of talking to GC Couture. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. I'm a huge like Y2K baby, so um, I am very into that fashion. So I decided to like build my own juicy suit and uh, Juicy Couture loved it. So they reposted it. Um, so that wasn't really anything like you know, like contractual, um, but like for me as a content creator, a small content creator, these are the types of relationships that like I want to step into and like fully, you know, develop um, more of these relationships. You know, we see them with example, little Michaela. We love Michaela. She's the best. I feel like she set the precedent for a lot of virtual people out there. Same thing with Imagram, Shudu. There are huge, 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 you know, virtual influencers out there who are doing their thing you know so i really think it depends on where you're at as a content creator right now i'm in that stage where i'm excited to grow and like take active steps to building my audience so to that like what like one of the questions on chat was like is your chair trap uh tracked so you're tracking your chair there as well yeah like and what all like can you change your clothes and change your i, I know that you you've debuted a new hairstyle this is something we haven't seen before and then mm -hmm. like your little apartment behind you, like what all like, can you sort of in the vein of adding, you know, to that content, like what kind of bells and whistles are you, are you able to sort of show or how does that work? Yeah, so I have a couple of little gadgets that I would like to say that I have to kind of spice up stream. Um, this is one of them. Check this out. So yeah. I like to call this my selfie cam. This is where I like to get into like my vlogging state of mind which is really cool for like confessionals and stuff like that. Um, but this is one of my little gadgets. I also have this amazing wall in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but this is actually some fan art 
um, from my community, my awesome community that they have created for me. So I like this apartment to be kind of like the Blob Squad headquarters, you know what I mean? Like I want it to be not only my space, but like our space where we can grow and, you know, have um, various steps towards, you know, just new, new beginnings. And it's cool because this wall over here, I don't know if you can see, so like this one, um, let me see if I can zoom out for you. So this one over here, it's hard to see because I didn't really plan this at all to show you, but I had the pleasure of, uh, that, that was my OG stream wall. That was my environment. <laughs> so I started with a plain background, nothing there, just me, you know, sitting down, hanging out in my chair to this, which has been really fun. And I feel like these are the steps that I want to continue to like move towards is that expanding my virtual world, expanding our virtual world and just like having fun with it. Yeah. Are you ever going to have like friends on and like, I don't know, have <laughs> friends over and hang out and I don't know, I'm thinking like virtual character reality TV or something. <laughs> watching you guys hanging out oh my god that that's the dream that is the dream um that i i feel like i would need to reach out to some other people which is funny because i do so for my birthday coming up on sunday i'm having a virtual guest join me um so just things like that i want to have more of um but i haven't had anybody hang out here in the apartment with me it would be fun too though that'd be great <laughs> yeah um for sure. let's see i'm just looking at chat um yeah thank you everyone for being here i'm just so excited to see everyone if you have any questions like let me know because i'm also trying to uh multitask here but let me know upgrades you know what that is growth exactly k it's one step at a time one step at a time you just noticed the fortnite llama yes we're very close <laughs> I honestly can thank my uh, <laughs> my my community for teaching me how to like play Fortnite because <laughs> I wanted to start. So fun fact, that's actually the game that I started off with on Twitch was Fortnite because number one, huge. There's there's tons of people playing and I feel like there's lots of people who are interested in, you know, hanging out, which is really what I wanted. I wanted to be interactive, you know, because I am a real time, you know, virtual avatar. And I feel like that's really what I wanted to, you know, lean into was the fact that I can respond to you in real time, that I can play and, you know, do all these cool things and like dance around. And, um, but yeah, that's yeah, where that's, that's from. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. yeah that's... So, all right. So a couple more questions here as we're getting near the end, but what is, in your opinion, do you see the is the future for virtual humans? Ooh. Just you or just you in general? That's a good question. Okay, I mean, overall, we did talk a little bit about metahumans, uh, which is going to be massive. It's going to be huge. Oh my gosh, I just feel like it's going to make the virtual avatar realm more accessible to people. I feel like VR chat right now is serving that purpose. I know a lot of people who started in VR chat and then they, you know, gradually build up to other programs to kind of, you know, expand their 3D universe, which I think is really exciting. So I feel like MetaHumans is going to be like the new, not like social version of VR chat, but as far as like the 3D aspect of it, the technical aspect, which is so exciting. Yeah, yeah. we probably will see those everywhere. Everyone's going to have their own MetaHuman VTuber, I guess. Yes. Is that um, scary for you? Like, what does that mean for you? If, yeah. you? if all of a sudden there's just everyone has their virtual human and streaming. Yeah, I mean, for me, I think that I, I'm not really intimidated by that. Um, I welcome it because that means there's going to be more people. <laughs> there's going to be more people I can talk to, more people that I can really befriend and like get to know and collaborate with. So to me, this is the future. And I, I want to meet more people like this. So I'm, I'm truly excited. Yeah, we need we need more of you guys. We need more. Come come hang out. <laughs> Monkey Puzzle, is, he says, uh, yes, virtual pet. That's oh, so my cool. God. OK, 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 OK. So I wonder if Lorelai is here in chat. So um, Lorelai, which is so funny. 
um, donated towards uh, my virtual, my first virtual pet, you would say. It's, it's really funny. It's like this silly little thing I found on the UE marketplace. And um, we just wanted to like have a little moment. We wanted to have a little, you know, animal moment. So I bought a little animal pack. Um, so thank you, Lorelai, for that because I have experimented with some cats, but we definitely need to bring them back. We need to bring them back. <laughs> the virtual uh, pets. <laughs> and then, um, what is the future for you specifically? Like, what do you want to be doing over the next year or two as things start getting back to normal? Probably, hopefully, mm. this year. You know, will everyone? Every, the, I think everyone's going to sort of go back and try to get to normalcy. What is, and then for you as Violet as a streamer, how does that affect you? And what what are your goals for the next year or more? Yeah, that's a, a, a good one as well. So it's funny because like this is my new normal. It took a while to get used to it because there's a lot that's involved, and not just technically. I mean, socially and also like being a human being. Like I have to restrict when I eat what I eat and like when I'm drinking water, you know, to fully be able to jump into my virtual form without being interrupted because I do not like eating or drinking <laughs> in my in my virtual self, not only because of, you know, being concerned about me spilling it because I'm a toddler, but um, also because it does throw off my face a little bit. But um, as far as what I want for the future, I would say just like more experimentation. I, I want to meet other people. I want to continue to make new friendships. I want to continue to build not only my wardrobe and, you know, my hair and um, community, but also just like my apartment and, and how I'm able to operate and move around. I definitely am looking into being able to transition from sitting down to standing up better because I do have that ability to stand up, which is really fun. I like to do push-ups and <laughs> I like to dance, even though I'm not really good at it and I just blame my rig. But <laughs> just more of those. I, I want yeah. to be able to fully, you know, like be able to be immersed in my virtual environment and one day get people in here as well, you know, through um, different Twitch integrations with Unreal Engine. And then what about as like a career path? You do all of that sort of as your own personal building. Yeah. But what is, what's Violet's career path in the next couple of years? Oh my gosh. Well, I honestly have a hard time like shutting up. So I would love to like <laughs> be a host, right? Like if, if I could like, I don't know, maybe have host my own TV show on Twitch where like I hang out with other virtual people or invite other people to hang out with me. Um, I, I feel like that would be an awesome, awesome way to utilize my platform. Uh, maybe even game reviews. So I started a new thing on my channel where I review, you know, new demos that are coming out. Um, so that's always exciting and fun because I'm very connected to the gaming world and I want to stay that way. I don't necessarily, I'm not afraid to move on beyond gaming because it's always going to be my my love, but like, I'm, I'm really open for new opportunities, you know, like being a host, like working with brands and all that jazz. That's awesome. Well, can you show us some of your little interactive? Like, I know you have your little purple light. We've seen that on stream. Can you show us some of your, like, do you have other uh, little interactive <laughs> gags you can demo for us as we're wrapping up here? For sure. Yeah, I have I have a bunch of uh, a bunch of silly little things. So I have, I would like to call my Zoom inspired <laughs> backgrounds. We do live in the, the age of Zoom and teams and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, so this I is kind of... This is kind of inspired uh, by by that as a little joke. Um, so I have quite a few here. Um, I like to switch up really my backgrounds to make it more spicy. Um, so I do have these, which is kind of like fun. that's cool. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I have my handy dandy little violet light as well. So like I do have the ability to change my light if I want to go gamer mode. <laughs> Nice. And I do have Snapchat filters that I like to play around with, but at this time, I do not have access to that. But if you want to see it... Keep it professional for this. I appreciate it. <laughs> if you want to see me in my toad form, then you can go on Twitch and see that, because I don't think anyone wants to hear that here. <laughs> oh, my God. This has been so cool. Yeah, I mean, thank you so much, Violet, for taking the time to come and chat with us. This is incredible. Um, and then, yeah, be sure, chat, to check out Violet and visit her socials. Um, 
you can plug those violet whatever your socials are <laughs> oh my god if peppa's in here I, you know it's funny because on twitch so little what's peppa's name in this chat i think his name is yeah little pep so little pep is one of my mods uh alongside synthetic jewels that are here so hello mods hi <laughs> they usually Everybody. have a little command that they can drop in chat to drop my socials which is so funny but i don't think we have that here on youtube um so i'm i'm channeling my my mods right now for this social shout out Right. Um, it's, you can it's follow Violet, me. Right? Yep, it's Violet. You can follow me. I do have uh, YouTube. I have Twitter, Twitch, which is my home base. I love love Twitch, and I also have TikTok. So TikTok is also hysterical. If you would like to duet with me, or perhaps leave a comment on something you would like to see, that's where I'm really active too. <laughs> that's incredible. Well, thank you again, guys, um, chat for coming in and, and the questions. And uh, thank you, Violet, for this has been super interesting. And so I look forward to see what you're going to be doing in the next year and how uh, how virtual humans sort of explode. We're looking forward to the meta humans ourselves. And and, uh, and then all that we you know, we're we're super into all of our characters and stuff we're doing. Maybe there's a collab there. We can have our mascots show up in your apartment and we can figure something yeah, out yeah that would be so cool to have mascots in here oh my god yes that's yeah, great <laughs> Let's well go. um well thank you violet um go ahead and say goodbye to chat and um thank you everybody <laughs> i don't want to go jeff Why not? <laughs> you're gonna have to drag me out of here okay you just All right, go to guys. your stream you have your own channel what are you yeah. talking about <laughs> but we're making new friends okay guys yeah. thank you so much for hanging out with me truly i mean it from the bottom of my heart um and i'm excited to see you on twitch <laughs> thanks everybody thank you violet appreciate this this was great yeah thanks everybody okay signing off ciao bye everyone bye. take care <laughs> do the dancey dance yeah do the dancey dance 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 Dance, 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 Until dance. Until we go away. Dance, 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 dance. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we're not.